Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today's video is going to be a book haul and it is a charity shop book haul. Every one of these books I got from a charity shop. So people will say you can't find nice books in charity shops, they're scabby, they're dirty, they're this, they're that. Keep your eyes peeled because I've got some great books. Also didn't mean to be so aggressive, I'm sorry. So I'm getting <laughs> straight into it. They're from various different charity shops. I got Woman Healers Through History by Elizabeth Brooke. This is non-fiction and it's about loads of different women who claimed to be healers. What their powers were of healing, a little bit of stories about their life. I thought it sounded very interesting. I then have the 101 Dalmatians by Dodie Smith. I love how it's called The 101, like no other Dalmatians will do. I've read this book, I have ranted about this book, I've made several books about my love for this book and I saw this edition and I just loved it. I thought it was so charming and so cute so I got it so that when I reread this book, the illustrations are in it as well, it's gorgeous. When I reread it I can reread this edition. I then got a true crime book, this is a UK case true crime. Although sorry if the sun is like blinding us right now. So the true crime case is that this woman here stabbed her boyfriend to death 46 times. They were in a car, they had an argument, I think he got out of the car, she stabbed him with a pen knife and then she started screaming in the street. So someone ran out of their house and she said, someone stabbed my boyfriend and they've run away. But she had stabbed him to death and the police did this whole investigation, she did a press conference and the police initially believed her and thought that some random person had stabbed her boyfriend. And then it turned out it was her. This book is actually written by the man who died's mother. So the victim's family have written this book about obviously the impact of this. Also, one more thing, she's out. She's out and about in society. She only got 14 years and she stabbed him to death in cold blood. She said it was self-defense, but I don't think you can stab someone 46 times and say it's self-defense. So she's out and about around town right now. Let me say that. I then have Sappho, Stung With Love, Poems and Fragrance. Doesn't sound like a Beyonce song. Stung with love. I don't know anything about it. It was a cover by I Was Seduced. It's not my fault. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I really wanted to read this book, but I wanted to get a nice edition. And I love the orange books, so I thought I'd get it. Penguin orange. I then have Gwyneth Branford's Men Have All the Fun. This is just like a comedy book, so I thought it would be nice. I think people are going to be excited about this one. This is Wired Saragus Sea by Jean Rhys and this is about, it's the character from Jane Eyre, the mad woman in the attic from Jane Eyre. This is her story set in the Caribbean. I've never read Jane Eyre. <laughs> So I don't know really why I got it, it's just something about it sounded very appealing to me, this mad woman. But I'm going to read Jane Eyre first and then read this book, but I thought it sounded really cool. I then have one which, oh, oh, there's a mention of it of my absolute legend. So I'm like salivating about that. This is Sucking Shrimp by Stephanie Theobald. This is a kind of teenager coming of age set in the um, 1970s. And on TV, we had a woman called Fanny Craddock. She was real, she was not a spoof. After you've watched this video, you need to type into YouTube Fanny Craddock and just watch her. She was just, she looked mad, she was mad, but she was a TV chef. And she'd make all these really weird recipes. But at the time people, I think thought she was quite normal, just a bit eccentric and uh, but the food she makes like it's repulsive it's honestly she made a, a mincemeat pancake it's just no a mincemeat omelet like it's just like oh what are you doing it's disgusting there's, a, there's one video where she's like stuffing a well makes me feel ill she's stuffing a turkey but like not how you do like through a turkey like under the skin she's stuffing it she was mad she was amazing i absolutely love her she wasn't of my time but as soon as i saw her on tv She's on like the best of the 70s TV show. I just like researched her and fell in love with her. She was mad though. So this is about a teenage girl who really likes Fanny Craddock. And so I think this will be a really fun book for me. I then have The Woman Warrior by Maxine Hong Kingston. This is memoirs of girlhood among ghosts. And I don't know anything about it, but it really intrigued me. I then have a book about Beatrix Potter, The Queen the queen this is the magic years of beatrix potter by margaret lane and it's just about kind of what inspired her stories a bit about beatrix's life and various other things that i'm interested it's got like original sketches from her as well in it which i thought would be fun and then last but not least i got a book that i never ever see anything by this person in charity shops and this is beryl cook beryl cook was a uk artist who i really love her artwork i feel like you either love it or you hate it but i absolutely love it 
and so she brought out these books which were collections of her artwork but it'd have her artwork and then a little bit about like her inspiration oh, I don't know if you can sit there her inspiration and what made her paint those things and I just love them they're just like funny and witty and very nice and this is it this is the end of the bit I feel like I'm like ah Savannah the book queen da 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 sorry anyway <laughs> I'm gonna end the video here stop my cringy ways I'm gonna end the video here to Oh my god, I literally felt like I was drowning. You know sometimes when you breathe and your breath is like <gasps> I honestly thought I was suffocating. <laughs> Why I quietly suffocate over here? I'm gonna end this here. Tell me if you've read any of these books. Give me recommendations if you have. And I'll see you again soon for another video. I'll try not to suffocate.